was awesome. <laughs> Between their work on the iconic sitcom Taxi and their vast array of film and television credits, I truly feel as if our next two presenters need no introduction. But they wrote one, so read okay. it. Yep. <laughs> I literally thought we didn't no, need to do no, it. No. One has been nominated for five Golden Globe Awards. The other has won two Emmys and been nominated for an Oscar. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mary Lou Henner and Carol Kane. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Mary Lou and I are First of all, happy to see each other. Yeah, and we haven't second, seen each other in a while. <laughs> and second, we were so excited to be presenting the Lortel for Best Musical. Yes, I know. And I'm, I'm excited because I'm coming back to Broadway with getting the band back together. So I'm really excited about that. But a lot of people don't know that even before it went to Broadway and before the, there was a movie or even before Grease on Ice, I was, a, I, I was in the original, original production of Grease, just like Tina Fey had her off-Broadway experience in Chicago, so did I. It was in a little converted trolley barn in Chicago, the show, the show Grease. So, and, and I have had the great thrill and honor of playing Madame Morble <laughs> in Wicked for many, many years, and it was a ball. Yeah. Well, you know, musicals are really unique. They're just such a, a, a glorious art form because, you know, the emotion takes, takes over, and so what do you do? It becomes so overwhelming that... You, 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 you just have to sing. Yes. And then, and then when singing isn't enough... Well, then you just have to dance. Yes. And when dancing isn't enough... Well, then you get to give out the Lortel for best musical. And here we are. Absolutely. Okay, the nominees for the 2018 Lortel for Outstanding Musical are... Bella, An American Tall Tale, produced by Playwrights Horizons, book, music, and lyrics by Kirsten Childs. Desperate Measures, produced by the York Theatre Company in association with Cecilia Lynn and Hugh Goh. Book and lyrics by Peter Kellogg, music by David Friedman. 100 Days, produced by New York Theatre Workshop by the Bengsons and Sarah Gansha. Jerry Springer, The Opera, produced by The New Group, music and lyrics by Richard Thomas, book and additional lyrics by Stuart Lee and Richard Thomas. And the recipient of K-pop, the... produced Sorry. by Ars Nova in association with Ma Yi Theatre Company and Woodshed Collective. Conceived by Woodshed Collective and Jason Kim, Book by Jason Kim, music and lyrics by Helen Park and Max Vernon, immersive design by Woodshed Collective. Okay, and the recipient of the 2018 Lucille Lortel Award for Outstanding Musical is K pop. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Um, this is an incredible thrill and honor. Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, we, a big thank you to all the producing organizations. Ars Nova with the incredible leadership of Jason Egan and Renee Blinkwald. Um, Mai Yi with the incredible leadership of Ralph Pena. Um, all my fellows at Woodshed Collective. Um, uh, the incredible creative team, the incredible cast, the incredible group of designers. Um, as everybody in this room knows, it takes a village to put on a show, and especially a musical. And we had the most incredible village of people around us and supporting us in what was a crazy Herculean effort. Um, and, and it was an honor. And I should give the mic over to this incredible group of people behind me. Wait, OK. So can I just say for one quick moment, um, a lot of people talk about, uh, you know, 
their, their theater mission statement is like, we support emerging artists, but their idea of emerging is like three times Tony nominee, Pulitzer Prize winner. Um, Ars Nova found me when I was 19 on MySpace, and Jason Egan was like, I think maybe you should try writing musicals, and I was like, what? Okay, maybe. And um, they actually do the thing, and they're incredible, and I want to thank them. And then... I just really want to thank all of our cast members and our stage managers and everyone in the production team because everyone gave their all. Because this, this show was really important to us Asian Americans um, and it was a dream come true for a lot of us um, in the team. And I could see it in their eyes and how, how hard they worked, um, how much like how, like they were giving their all. And I'm just so, I was always so moved by that and I'm so happy and thankful that um, it is being recognized. So thank you. And thank you, my family. And we also thank Jason Kim who can't be here tonight, but he is our theater sister of all time.